Hey there guys, Avarice here and I'm playing Smashing the Battle. This is a game that's been sitting in my Steam library for like probably a month or two now. I really wanted to get to it, just been kind of busy with other games and work and life and whatnot, but uh, basically the construction site goes haywire in the future and we have to escape. Phew, I'm beat. These daily inspections are really getting to me. They say promise me a desk job once this is project is over and I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. It's a few more days of retirement too. Tools check, equipment check, what else? What else indeed? You know, you're, that's a very liberal construction uniform for a, such a dangerous job site. Sounds like a soldier. Wait, why are you... Why is that part internal? You externalized every other part of your dialogue. There's nobody else around, too, so that's really the odd part. Oh, here we go. We got Ivan. Oh, he's been seeing better days. Uh, obviously not. Sarah, something's wrong. You have to get somewhere safe. Okay. What are those build bots? Do build bots? Oh, man. Build bot brand bots. They're attacking the workers. Try to shut them down, but the control panel doesn't work at all. Why are they attacking? I don't know. We have to... Why is this party... You should actually say it to him. Why are you internalizing this? Uh, you have no choice but to fight them. Yeah. Whoa, and so we got Sarah O'Connell and Lorian. Whoa, man. I, okay, I thought her outfit was was a little liberal on the job. It's like, good lord. Wait, stop right there. Oh, she blew him up. I'll explain later. Wait, if you're on the com, why do we see you? And that is, has to be an awkward pose. Can you walk? Yeah, he'll be fine. He's only, you know... Wait, why is the eye without blood shut? Like, should his right eye be shut? He's got blood going all over it. So we're in a temporary warehouse in A1, A13 East. It's 1.16 a.m. Be safe where we are for now. Yes, yeah, this is Chief Security Officer. That is security officer uniform. Oh my god. Future's future's full of skimpy clothing. Who are us? You're just security inspector. Shouldn't you know who we are? One two one zero zero. Oh man. Yeah, please get straight to the point. We had an unknown. He's dying. He's calm down. He's dying, lady. Come on. Don't sugarcoat it for me, Lorian. How how bad is our situation? Yeah, I agree with her. Okay, so we're trapped in here, attacked by a hacker. Oh, it's always the hacker's fault. You're disclosed a lot. You can't tell us if it's the hacker's fault for taking out the bots. So we gotta survive one whole day. Uh, yeah, he's lost a lot of blood. On the 65th floor. What floor are we on right now? If this isn't with the down, why didn't you just try to EMP the whole building? Oh my lord, you... Okay, you saved us with the MP blast, but you're not being very helpful right now. Okay, so we gotta override the locks. Yeah, yeah, he's dying. In this case, there's something that I can help you with. See a container of the red light. Open it. The passcode is... Okay, interesting passcode. Please stand still. Installation? What? In progress. Completed. Okay, what is that? A hand suit used by a security crew. Are the security crew all female? Because it looks like it'd be a very uncomfortable... Actually, it looks uncomfortable for both sexes, so I'm not going to say that at all. Yeah, it's true, because you're at least two-thirds naked. Yeah, 
you're completely well protected. Your chest and arms are completely are completely covered. It's all you care about. Focus on the matter at hand. Yeah, get over yeah, get over the suit. Just focus on the task at hand. Well, we don't have a choice, man. So whether we're sure or not. <coughs> Sorry, I just need there. It's completely irrelevant. So here we go. Ooh, okay. Um. Okay, so we can show our height suit. Oh man. When I got this game, well, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> In this game, I thought it was gonna be like a, it was a 2D beat em up, which I think it is, like a 3D beat em up, which I think, which it, sure enough, it is. I did not see that part in the description. <laughs> I should change my channel to What the Hell Gaming. That's pretty much what I do. I play What the Hell kind of games. I know, fighter. Yeah, you better learn it quick. We'll just follow the tutorial. Yeah, you're a tutorial. Yeah, what do we need to know? Okay, yeah. Uh, stats and SP. Skill points. That's good to know. Okay, and we have repair skills. It pushes armor. I'm with her on that one. All that, t all that tech, and they can't make it fit in a little bit or cover more, at least. Okay, yeah, so, all right, tap button. It's kind of weird that it's giving me all this up front. Usually you learn this while you're fighting. Yeah, okay, so. Money, all right. Uh. Oh, yeah. We get a combo meter? Ooh, zone cleared. Oh, well, that would have been useful. Is there a dash? Oh, it's a magnet. Oh, okay, those are my skills. Magnet, uh, right trigger is giant spammer. That's left trigger. I'm stupid. Ow, that hurts me. Good to know. Thank you. Oh, okay, that was the giant spammer. That was really effective. I dare say surprisingly. Uh, okay, um... Oh crap, I missed one. That was probably really bad. We'll see what happens. And giant spammer again? Suck mine! Okay, man. This ah! And ham. Oh, good thing we got the most technologically advanced weapon in this future age—a giant wrench. Whoop! Woo! This one. Where was I? Oh yeah. I, like I said, originally I started this ch my channel just to, you know, I play games. But a lot of people were like, my friends online, to be like, "What the hell are you playing?" So I wanted to like. So you just explaining and saying like, look up a video. So I make my own videos because honestly, ah, oh, I, I got shit by someone else's mind. I'm talking too much. Ah. Ooh, and I circled out of the way. Oh, oh man, my giant trigger's not. Oh, I'm out of skill points. That's why. I was actually using my skill effectively. All right, that was the boss too. Oh, <laughs> star grade one star. G, thanks game. It's like you aren't horrible. You're just not good. Yeah, we mean I tired already. 
Yeah, say la vie, I guess. It, okay, I get why you have robots to make menial tasks easier, but then why the hell would you have something like this, which is so powerful, and then just like leave it lying around? Why wouldn't there be more people in that? It's a magnet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, I actually figured all this out. I mean, it's good that it explains it, but, like, it's pretty obvious. And these guys are the mind tossers, so they're going bye-bye. And... Giant Spinner. Okay, that was a massive kill. So I wonder if uh, the... Oh crap, I missed it. Uh, not me um, crap, I, what was I saying? Like the star rankings are like based on how quickly you clear the stage or just by like number of guys you kill versus how much damage you take. It also says massive kill bonus, but I mean, I think I have to go back to the main menu to uh, upgrade my stuff. The game hasn't told me that yet, so I'm, uh, I'm assuming that makes the most sense. The money, do I get that money regardless? Oh, and flipping apparently takes my SP away. Good to know. I was doing the mines. Oh, come on. Woo! Okay, I guess he's tossing those mines because I don't see there's nobody else but him. Oh, and I got my SP up. Uh, so the bosses are too bad. I imagine it's gonna get worse later on. See, that one was two stars. Okay. Uh, oh, because, oh, I gotta clear successfully evades, kill streaks, and that kind of stuff to get it. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. So, back to main. So you can, uh, like I said, you can take that show and hide and whatnot, and it's, uh, it's really weird. Okay. Let's see what the upgrade shop is like. So, oh, so it takes 600 to upgrade stuff. Uh, I mean, I guess my spanner is more powerful. That's a good upgrade to take. I don't get any weapons. I don't know. But two levels down on this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This one's actually... Like I said, when I got it, I just look at it. It was just advertised as a straight up, uh, you know, top down beat em up. And for that, it's actually pretty fun. The, intuitive con the controls are intuitive. Okay, despite the, you know, obviously the sexualization of the character, which... If you looked at some of the areas I played, I played worse. Only Chambara was way worse when it came to that, but it was still a fun game. And this is still fun too, regardless. I mean, it's it's simple, it's quick, and the controls are really intuitive and fluid, which is actually the best things you can get for this kind of game. So, this game was actually really fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. But once again, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you like all my videos, you know, feel free to subscribe. Why not? Uh, if anything I'd be doing better in a game you want to play, let me know. I'll do my best to accommodate, and I will see you guys later.